So let's do one more uh, simple problem. So in a four pole dynamo, the flux per pole is 15 millibars. So, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, cancel this. So a dynamo uh, is nothing but a DC uh, gen generator. So, and it has four poles. So let me draw that four pole DC generator. So if you know the construction of DC generator, the poles will be fixed. Okay, so this is the, the stator of the DC generator and the armature will have conductors inside. Okay. So four poles. So if this is a north pole, this will be south pole, this will be north pole and this will be south pole and the conductor will be rotating inside this. Uh, flux per pole is 15 millivibers. That means 15 millivibers of flux is coming out of here. So 15 millivibers. And 15 millivibers is coming from here. 15 millivibers is coming from here. And 15 millivibers is coming from here. So basically if you want to draw the lines of flux, the flux actually leaves the north pole 15. 7.5 will go towards right, uh, by the way, the arrow should be inwards. 7.5 will go towards down and it will go back and then combine back at this point. Similarly, 7.5 millivibers will leave the North Pole and enter the South Pole here and complete the loop. 7.5 uh, millivibers will come like this and then complete the loop like this. Okay, so this is the direction of the so sorry for the uh, complicating the diagram. So let me show it to you once again. So this is north, this is south, this is north and this is south. Okay, so 7.5 millivibers like this, 7.5, 7.5 millivibers like this and 7.5 millivibers like this and 7.5 millivibers like this like this so make a note of the arrow so the flux always leaves the north pole and enters the south pole and of course from from the behind so this path is completed like this this path is complete because there's a magnetic path uh, from the frame of the machine and this is how the flux completes so here the total flux is 15 millivibers here the total flux is entering is 15 millivibers again flux here is 15 millivibers and so on Okay, so that's about uh, this flux, 15 millivibre. Calculate the average EMF induced in one of the armature conductors if the armature is driven at 600 RPM. So what is the armature? So again, allow me to draw the diagram once again. So this is north, this is south, this is north and this is south. So they are all uh, four pole machine and this is the armature. Inside the armature, there is an armature conductor. There, there are many conductors around this edge of the armature. And then this armature is connected to a, some kind of a mechanical input. So the mechanical input will rotate the shaft. Therefore, the armature conductor will rotate around this. Okay. So there is a magnetic field and the conductor is cutting the magnetic field. So EMF is induced. So what is the EMF induced when a conductor cuts a magnetic field is nothing but N d phi by dt. Okay. So why am I not using uh, B into L into V? So I can use uh, both BLV or this one. In fact, I think these two are kind of uh, uh, replaceable. So EMF induced. In this example, the data given is for this. Okay. So the question that is asked is, uh, calculate the average EMF induced in one of the armature conductors. Okay, so I'm, so n equal to one, one armature conductor, and d phi. Okay, d phi is what change in the flux. Okay? So if a conductor is making uh, and the speed is 600 rpm. Okay, so so speed is 600 revolutions per minute. So that is nothing but 600 divided by 60 revolutions per second okay so so that is nothing but 
10 revolutions per second or 1 by 10 seconds per revolution. So it's just revolutions per second if you invert it you will get seconds per revolution. Okay. So that is 0 0.1 seconds. So, so this is my dt. dt is 0 0.1 seconds that is uh, time for one revolution and then d phi is change in the flux. So in one revolution how much flux? So look at this diagram. If a conductor is here and completes one revolution, each it is meeting four poles. So total flux is uh, 15 millivebers into number of poles is four. So you get 60 millivebers. <coughs> Sorry. So EMF induced is nothing but n d phi by dt. So one into d phi is 60 millivebers and dt is 0.1 seconds okay so so or i can just uh, 0.1 it will be 600 milli volts or 0 0.6 volts so this is the emf induced per conductor so this is just applying what you know uh, to calculate and that is the answer for this question so the answer is 0 0.6 volts per conductor. So I think you understood something from this problem. So we'll try to solve more.